What's going on guys, we are back once again. We're gonna be talking about probably one of my favorite games and characters within any game that's been created. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2 takes off right after the events of the first game. You play as Desmond once again, you escape, you meet Lucy helps you escape, and then by that end, you go to this underground or this unknown warehouse, and you meet other uh, allies that help you go into the uh, the machine yet again to be able to uh, go into your other ancestors' past, which is Ezio Auditore da Flenze, um, the Italian and the Italian Renaissance who came from a assassin's background. And you, he, when you're playing Ezio and you start learning how to maneuver, learning how to fight, learning how to do everything, Desmond picks up these uh, skills in the present to be able to defend himself not only in the game later on but also in further games now i love Ezio. i think his story was absolutely amazing Ezio being a very much of a rich i would say i wouldn't say he was rich but he was his family was ver, was very well off um his father was a banker but he did not know he was an assassin and when things take a turn for the worst when assass uh Ezio goes from this um i would say very uh well you know owned playboy slash rebel who loses his family at a hang from his father's two brothers that are betrayed by their so-called friends who were part of the templar organization Ezio has to take his family and go on the run he meets his uncle mario who is also an assassin and he goes on this journey of taking on the ones that were behind his family's death and he gets not only justice but revenge and he goes on this huge story of meeting other allies other characters that we find out later on are assassins and have been kind of whispering slash carving the way for Ezio to become an assassin and then later on in his life to become the master assassin and then mentor of the assassins and Ezio was such a great character I think not only from um, him being sarcastic him being very outspoken being very outgoing wanting to learn more about the assassin order and also this is the first time for the double blades as well and me and of course Leonardo da Vinci who becomes a family friend of Ezio's and at the same time learning more of how deep the Templar organization is in not only Italy but in Roma and then other areas where Ezio just dives into this world of becoming an assassin and rebuilding the assassin HQ that you go to with the help of your allies and you get so many different uh, collector editions you can even get Altair's uh, sword and his armor which was probably the best in the game in my opinion where you get that black um, hood with all the armor I love that that was probably my favorite so I just feel bad that we didn't really get too much in Assassin's Creed Brother because it was destroyed you know spoilers but um, you go through each target and you learn more and more about the piece of Eden in this one as well you also get to learn more about the other assassins that get brought into later on to the franchise by going into secret vaults being able to unlock the master prize which of course is Altair's armor and of course learning more about the assassins and being able to become an assassin and not only reclaim your family's honor but get justice for your family and revenge so i really just I, this is where i really fell in love with the story of assassin's creed and i just got so excited to see a character that was just badass and again he was a ladies man he was sarcastic he was very um just you know a rebel without a cause i guess you'd say and everyone loves Ezio. I, I have not seen one fan that don't love Ezio because Ezio i think is one of the most popular characters in assassin's creed or the most popular in the assassin's creed franchise and i think that's why so many people love him is because again we got three games with him but we could go through this journey of when he was well, literally from the time he was born to the time that we see him pass and again this is several years that this character has been out in the limelight and has been um just there and i love Ezio. i think he's a great character i think he's a badass character i think when he gets older he becomes more wiser he becomes more of a 
leader. He becomes more of a family man. He becomes starting to learn more about life rather than taking out targets and becoming an assassin full time because it takes more than what two three decades of his life to be an assassin and learning about what happened to his family why they were killed and him protecting what was left of his family from his sister his mother and having different love interests as well losing a love interest um gaining another love interest but losing her too and then he meets another love interest by the very end of his life and he finally got to have two children and I think that's the reason why so many people love Ezio is because we saw again from the time he was born till he passed and you know that um, that movie that's that little mini movie we had and I'll always be thankful that we were introduced to Ezio Auditore and I think he'll always be not only probably one of the best assassins that ever lived within the Assassin's Creed franchise but not only in, in a fan favorite and also ones could possibly relate to uh from you know different various things but again i think Ezio is always going to be a great character and i think anyone that is a fan of assassin's creed um will either agree with me or disagree with me that Ezio is just an amazing character and amazing timeline to explore and being able to do different things and learn different things with the assassin's order and be able to go further into the rabbit hole of history as well i mean we meet a lot of different characters in Ezio's life that are um historical figures like i said leonardo being one of them and especially with desmond now learning more about his family's lineage and also learn that his father was an assassin that his father had lucy and among others help break him out and also help go on this journey to find the piece of eden in the present just like how it was in the past with Ezio. and we go further of that going into assassin's creed brotherhood but if you guys once again has not played Assassin's Creed 2, definitely give it a shot. It is It is worth it, believe me. You can get it on PS3, PS4, PS5 even, PC, Xbox 360, Xbox One, I believe. It is all over the place, so it is very easy to access this game. But definitely do not sleep on this story. Do not sleep on this character. But what do you guys think about it? Let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you as always on the next one.